Hello everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at how to save recordings in Zoom. So to get started here we will start in our Zoom dashboard and we'll, the main idea is we just need to start any meeting. We can schedule one or host one without scheduling. For our purposes here we'll come up to host a meeting up at the top right and we'll choose just one of these options. It really doesn't matter for our purposes here. I'll just choose screen share only. Then we'll go ahead and start our meeting. We'll choose which screen I will uh, choose to share. I'll just choose to share my whole screen. And now so at the toolbar at the top, I'll go ahead and select uh, the audio that I will include. So I'll just click on join audio. That will include my narration. And I'll unmute myself. Then I'll go over to the more section and I'll turn on the recording feature. Since I am recording and I'm going to save it to my computer, I'm going to choose record on this computer. With an education account, you only get a certain amount of cloud storage. It's only a half a gigabyte. So you get some storage in, in a Zoom education account uh, in the cloud, but not a ton. So it might just be easier to record onto your computer. And now it's recording, but the way we can tell is we have our little red circle uh, in that green bar. You can see it right there. If you have that little red circle light up, that means you're recording. And now, of course, I'm, I'm in my recording session now, so whatever I'm doing, I'm sharing my screen here. Uh, so if I have to share a file, if I'm sharing a slideshow, whatever I'm using, whatever materials or websites or web pages I'm using to teach uh, in my online classroom here, all that stuff is going to be in our recording. Then once we're finished, we can just come all the way down to the bottom of the options menu there and click on end the meeting and end the meeting for everybody. And you'll notice this window that comes up that's converting the meeting into a video. Now it's going to automatically bring up this window here, which will uh, is basically asking you where to save your folder of, uh, of recordings from this session. Notice it's, it highlights the one that you just did. Here's a nice little trick if you're on Windows and you want to save it right to your desktop. You can just click and drag it and bring it all the way down to the bottom right corner. There's a thin little line. If you hover it right over that, it'll drop. You can hover it uh, right over to your desktop and you can drop it wherever you like on your desktop. Then when you open up this folder, you'll have three different files. One is a audio file that is just the audio, just the narration or sounds from uh, from the recording. The second one is an M3U file, which is a video file. It will play on Windows Media Player, but not a ton of other programs. Uh, and then finally, the last one is an MP4 file, which is the most common video file out there. Um, so that one is a good one to share. Um, of course, you want if you want to rename them, you just uh, can click on the name and re rename them. Uh, and then to test it out here, we'll go ahead and open up the mp4 make sure it plays all right and just look like it looks like it is and this is just a video recording of what we just did and notice all that all that all those different web pages i went to whatever was on our screen before is now in our recorded webinar here and like i mentioned you can click on the title again to give it a new name if you wish then from there, you can save it into your Google Drive, or you can upload it into various different places. Um, but if you wanted to save it into Google Classroom and share it with students, for example, you can just upload it right into your Google Drive and then post a material in Google Classroom and attach in that video file. Since, since it's an MP4 file, it will, place, it will play perfectly smoothly.